one thing I will say about having a retainer is that it makes me feel like I'm not a retainer I'm on my card is that it makes me feel like I'm wearing grills and I think that that's so cool look at that okay it's the next day I just showered so don't come for me but look we found the bird um uh, it's been flying around a bit. We gave it some food and water, so don't worry, it's not starving. I, you can't see the color, but it's like really... I named it avocado because it's like yellow and green, but... I'm assuming it's somebody's lost bird, but we've opened the door and they just didn't want to leave. So maybe it came into this home because it knew that we needed some help. It's going to be like a, na a Nanny McPhee type beat. He's going to... They, because I don't know their gender, they're going to fix this family, so... Yeah, it's my new birdie. Come here, birdie. Baby, oh, come here, baby. Bro, okay. So yeah, we need to get a cage for it. But yeah, you can see the colors now. Look how pretty it is. Look at it. But yeah, um, uh, I'm sorry, bro. You can't land there. It's so hard being a, a mother of one. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a cage for it and everything will be a-okay. -A it's also matching the color of my smoothie today. Yeah, going back to what I was talking about with like mouth guard and stuff. So I have that because I clench at night from hashtag anxiety and stress. I've literally been cl clenching for at least the last 13 years of my life. And like it's not good for my teeth. And I have pretty good teeth. Namakla for the bird. Um, and I have pretty good teeth. So I'm just like, let me preserve it, you know? It cost me $500, but it's okay. Your health is important to spend money on. I'd rather spend $500 on my teeth than on, like, what costs $500? Like, five Aritzia shirts um, or pants, whatever. But yeah, another thing that I was thinking going going back to grills, I'm like, grills are cool, but I always wanted a tooth gem, just like on one of my canines, or maybe on this one. I don't know, canines or this one. I don't know what people usually do. So I kind of want to do it. I I don't know how much it's gonna cost A and B. What I'm thinking is that like, yeah, it's supposed to last you for like about four years. When it starts coming off, like, do you just swallow the gem? Like, what happens to it? How do you get rid of it? Do you just pick it off? If you swallow it, you probably, like, I don't even know, but I think it'd be kind of cool. So, I was meant to go somewhere at 11.30 or be somewhere at 11.30 and then I just didn't want to go anymore. So, I was like, I'm just not going to go. Um, And then I went back to sleep because my head was pounding and I was like, hey, I'll sleep for like another hour. It's now 1 o'clock. I slept for like another two hours and 30 minutes. I always sleep so much. You know, I've been trying to do that thing where you like let your body naturally get the amount of sleep that it needs by not setting an alarm. But when I do that, I sleep for like literally 10 to 12 hours. And I'm like, is this what my body needs? Like, my body needs to be productive. My body needs to get some work done. My body needs to start going to the gym. You know, like that's what I'm thinking in my head. So, I don't really know, but yeah, it's one o'clock. Let's see what else I can do with my day. Let's try to be productive, yeah? Also, do you know how there are TikToks that are like, oh, like, do what this if I accidentally drew you? I keep watching it just to see if they accidentally drew me. It never happens. But another thing that I'm thinking about is if our phones are always watching us so clearly my phone knows what my face looks like and so does tiktok why don't they just present me with a tiktok that where somebody actually draws me or draws what i look like you know like at least be useful like that at least make me happy in some sort of ways because this is benefiting the apps but it's not benefiting me what whatsoever so what's going on with that so avocado got into the bathroom upstairs somehow and they're just chilling there but buddy there's no view there it's what are these called like blurry windows i don't know 
But if there's nothing here for you, it's my guy for real. You know, one thing that's so crazy to me is that when I was younger, I was so I had I knew a lot of things. I knew a lot of facts. I knew no, I knew a lot of knowledge. So I would say things like, "Oh, like birds are descendants of dinosaurs." What are you doing, buddy? I was like birds are descendants of dinosaurs. They're like the most direct descendant. And then I don't know what grade I was in. I was probably in like grade one because I loved watching Dino Dan and like dinosaur train and all the TVO kid stuff. And the kids in my class would tell me, no, you're wrong. They were gaslighting me. And then another time when I was in grade seven or grade eight, I like understood how colors worked. I was like, it's something, oh. I was like, it's something about wavelengths and about how like the color that you see, it's the only color that doesn't get absorbed by wavelength you know so i would tell them like oh like yellow is the oh like when you see the color ye yellow it's a it's actually the wave like not being absorbed by it and it absorbs all other wavelengths except for yellow and that's why it bounces back in into your eye again being gaslighted when i was 13 years old they're like no that's not how it works what are you talking about and then i remember multiple times when i was in like grade six or grade seven i would be right about something i would be the only kid in class right about a certain question all of them would get would get would gaslight me saying no that's not correct this that da, da, da. i would write all along so to all of you haters that were telling me that i was wrong i mean that's a different happened from life like i'm still where i am you're probably still where you are but you know probably why i self-doubt myself a lot now so thanks for that um yeah i'm making coffee just a small amount um and then oh my gosh that's so much it's hot okay anyways one thing that i started noticing nowadays is that i re i re rarely feel like leaving my house like i just want to wake up do my morning routine, exercise, do my homework, maybe go to work, and that's it. Because I can barely do those things within one day. So when I have to add on top, like, hanging out with people or, like, running errands or buying stuff, I'm just like, I just want to stay home. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I'm just like, sometimes I'm like, I do want to go out and experience life. But then other times I'm like, what's the point? Let me just stay home you know that could be because i have no friends so i don't ha i like any like close friends i maybe have like one or two here but that's pretty much it and like i don't feel like really hanging out i just want to work on myself and like you know invest myself whatever but i think that could be because i don't have any friends so yeah hopefully that changes we'll see but in the meantime, let me just try to not sleep so much. I've been sleeping a lot lately. Again, could be a bad thing. Could be, I don't know. I don't want to self-diagnose or anything. But yeah, I need to find a new therapist because my last one was not. I didn't feel like it was really working for me, you know. Um, Yeah. Another thing that's really funny is that so i've been watching the stern yellow triplets lately because they're still flipping funny and nick is scared of birds right and i was like i've never met someone that was scared of birds my friend i just realized that she's scared of birds too and i did not realize it was like a real fear that people have because you know and then so when this bird came in the house i was just thinking if it was like nick or if it was my friend when the bird flew into their house i'm wondering what their reaction would be like they'd probably be like freaking out or whatever but this is a nice bird he's really chill <sighs> i got him close to my birthday like my birthday is in two weeks i'm just like maybe it's like a present to me who knows i hope so realizes that this bird can really just clean up crumbs off of the table off of the floor so we'll never have to clean up again or vacuum I'm going to rename the bird to Vacuum. You know what? Vacuum is going to be its middle name. Avocado Vacuum. Its third name will be Buddy because I keep calling it that. So, Avocado Vacuum Buddy. Oh, there it goes.
There they go. Another thing that I feel like could be a side effect of like me growing up or whatnot is that I don't like, I don't really, I'm not really fond of eating out anymore. Like it's obviously more fun when you go out with like friends and such, but I just, I will still try to find other things to do rather than just eating. Obviously, if you're like meeting someone new, it's like the best idea to just go with like eating somewhere because it's simple. You get to sit down, you can like do something and talk at the same time, so that's not as awkward. But I'm like, a inflation is not good. Everything is so expensive now, and also the food. I'm gonna keep quoting my mom on this. You can make it at home. The food outside is mid, you know, and like. I think the only kind of food that will always slap for me is like bowls, like healthy bowls, like po like poke bowls or like ramen from restaurants, like properly made ramen. Those will always slap for me and desserts too. If they're like sweet, cause I'm, I have a sweet tooth. I'm a, su I'm a, su a sucker for desserts. I will always eat it. So just those, other than that, I don't really like to eat out as much anymore, but it's good cause I save, cause I save money um yeah and you know like life is more about than just sitting down in eden surprisingly you know you can like go experience things which i know is hard to think about but there is stuff to do once you get creative with it you know we see all these people on tiktok doing like creative things like to the paint swapping idea i really like that or like photo shoot i don't know just fun stuff like that there's always something you can do Another thing, I'm watching Vogue Beauty, Se Beauty Secrets right now just because I think it's cute. I think it's fun. Um, I will always say this. I would rather have dry skin over oily skin, which is what I have now. Um, dry skin, like, not to the extreme with, like, eczema and stuff, but I would rather have, like, dry skin. And my reasoning is this. With dry skin, you can always put moisturizer on on it which is what everybody has to do everybody has to put on moisturizer and they have to put on sunscreen so if you just put on like a good moisturizer and like a good sunscreen it's perfect and then when you're doing makeup you can use like cream makeups and it makes you look more glowy which is what is really in right now and you still look good afterwards and like typically what i've been seeing is that people with, with dry skin don't like have acne or the kind of acne you would have if you were to have oily skin and i have it right now and oily skin i still have to put on moisturizer i still have to put on these creams on my face which like makes it worse and then in order to mattify it i have to put on these powders and stuff and it just doesn't feel good on my face you know and then my acne i've been having it since i was in grade eight so like six years now maybe seven years i think and it's just not been a fun time you know so much would i would much rather have dry skin 100 percent um and then also my hair keeps falling out i'll just brush through it and get a whole clump of hair if you guys know how to fix that or what i have to do to it i honestly do not do nothing to my hair except shampoo and rinse it out i don't condition it because i'm just like i don't see the point of it i'm pretty sure can like conditioning is supposed to make make your hair smooth and silky and like knock on wood i already have smooth and silky hair so i'm just like i don't really need it so i don't know what else to do like it could be because I'm a vegetarian, so I'm not getting, like, enough, like, irons. Maybe I do have to take, like, um, iron pills for it. I don't know. If you have any solutions, let me know.